very first thing you do take the cap off take your center nut off this is Thirty-five millimeter. And remove these completely, because sometimes they'll get stuck, like this one here is going to. Take the wheel off, or I'm, I'm loosening your, your lug nuts rather. Now, with a 13 millimeter. bolts off and remove the caliper and we'll set it aside now for this you'll need your trusty hammer and 18 millimeter because we're going to take off the caliper bracket Don't bother taking your brake pads off unless if you want to replace them. Set that aside. Your rotor comes off. Now we'll go over this side. Remove your hub ABS line and you'll have a connector up inside your control arm. More than likely your new hub is going to have these on it so I'm removing the old one. Now on back of your hub are three big bolts, they're 18 millimeter. If you haven't taken your hub off, good luck. There's one. Mine come out easy because I've had these out probably about a dozen times and I have anti seize on them. There's two. And they're in a triangular, they're in like a triangular shape. Now, this is a good time to give your front axle half shaft to hit with your ball peen hammer. Mine comes out easy because I've had it out a half a dozen times. Okay. And that's your hub. Let me pause you guys. We'll get the new hub. Okay. Let me show you guys the back of the hub, what it looks like. Now, when you put your back and plate on. Make sure this is your side that goes toward the vehicle. This side here, this comes out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of my famous grease. If I can get it out on the inside. We well, gotta go on easy. 
Hey, now, with this plate, feed your ABS line through. That's going just like that. Grab the back of the hack shaft. Okay, preferably we'll put in one of the bottom bolts. Get it started. Get the one on the other side in. Okay. Now you might also have to give half shaft a little bit of coarse to get it in. Here, let me show you how this is going to look. And it's just a matter doing the opposite guys. I like to start with the top bolt first. Now with all my with all my bolts in, all my fasteners in, I don't torque these down because I'll be doing this again this time next year. You're supposed to torque them down. I think these are like 110 foot pounds but trust me. Living around here in Pittsburgh, I'll be doing this again in about six months. So we're going to just give them some good wax. Probably around 80 pounds by doing that. And let's get the center one the same way. Okay, come on over this side. We'll attach the ABS line. Okay, now this has to go in back of your brake hose. That clips in there. This goes around, clips in there. That goes up in there. And this one here, well, I'm not going to put in, but we will put in that. Push it in. Now, get your rotor, put your rotor on, 
get a lug nut. Hold the uh, rotor in place. Here, let's move you a little bit, guys. Hold on. Bear with me. Okay, now we'll get our caliper bracket. I don't want them shoes to come. I see my shoes are coming out. My pads come out. I got it all wrong. Okay. These are also big bolts. These are around 110 foot pounds too. I don't torque these down. I don't torque nothing down here as many times as I do this. And we'll get this other bolt in here. Pause it. Remember to take this off before you put your wheel on. We're not done yet. It don't go away. Okay, now that's what that should look like with that plate. Make sure this plate, the unfinished side is pointing into the vehicle. And this is how your ABS line should be routed. That way when the steering knuckle turns, it's not catching on nothing. It's not going to rub on anything that's, uh, that's turning around. Okay, now, we'll put this nut on. I semi-tight my lug nuts. Now we'll let the vehicle down on its weight. My other side goes, my other axle nut goes in easy for some reason. This one doesn't. This has to be torqued down. This has to be, I torque these down to 110 pounds. And I also torqued down my lug nuts to 90 pounds. And that's how you put your hub on.